Let's go. Hello friends, it's Zoe and welcome to today's video. As some of you may know, I just went to Taiwan, Korea and Japan and I've bought a lot of stuff so I'm excited to show you guys what I've got. There's some stationery, accessories, skincare, and who knows. A lot of this was uh, gifts so it's not all for me. It's been a while since I bought some of these items so I'm excited to open it up. Alright, these first stickers are from a stationery store in Korea, in the Jongno area. And I thought it was so cute, like look at that, that's just like little cats in the sushi, in the rice. It was just too cute. Um, and this video is going to be a little bit all over the place, so bear with me. But yeah, the next items are from this store in Taiwan. So uh, the first thing was this little panda uh, lanyard holder that I got for my mom. It's super cute, it's like embroidered, uh, very handy if you have an ID card, and yeah. And then the next thing are these stickers that you probably saw in my July bullet journal plan with me. They're too cute, they're by Johan Illustration, or stickers, you saw their Instagram there. But yeah, they had these socks too that were really cute with a little bread on it and this little mountain guy. And then next, this is also from Taiwan, I got these watercolor pencils for my mom because she's been meaning to try those out. And then I also got uh, three matching planners so I can have matching journals with my friends. This one's cool because it starts in September and ends in... Uh, it starts in September of this year and then ends in December of next year. So lots of space and I thought it'd be cute to have like um, write like a daily thought in each of them. Next we have these um, clay pieces from Korea. This is like one of the first things I bought when I came to Korea, like literally on my second day. Um, and I didn't want to open up the packaging, but yeah, basically they're like these little clay figurines, question mark. One of them is like a ring holder that looks like a little scallion, and the other one is an incense holder that looks like a little house. So it's super cute, but yeah, I didn't want to unwrap these because these were also gifts for people. So yeah, you'll just have to trust me that they're cute. Next we have these items from Korea also. There's this like big uh, stationery store called Object that has the cutest stuff. It's like three levels of all different kinds of stickers like and they seem like they're made from local artists, question mark, I'm not really sure, but this is so cute. Oh my god, it's like a whole circle. These also really made me laugh, and just the illustration style is just like so funny. So I got a bunch of them for myself and my friends. They had a deal where you buy five stickers and for a certain price, so that's why I got so many. And yeah, I originally only tried to buy three, but then the woman at the cashier told me I had to go choose some more, so that was exciting. And then this is a cool notebook I bought. I'm also planning on giving it away, but it's cool because the cover part is like a pocket and then on the inside it has like this grid uh, pattern. So I'm planning on putting some pictures in there and I think it's a really unique size. Like I never saw a notebook that size before. So I'm excited to use it. I think this would be great for journaling and then you can keep like your stickers in that front pocket. The proportions of this notebook are just so cute too. I love it. This is a little postcard I got from Jeju of the Jeju Tangerine. And then I also got postcards of Seoul. These ones were free actually from the Amore Pacific building. I was buying other things and then I asked them like, oh, can I take some? They're like, yeah. So then I took one of each. And then this one is from Jeju Island, also really pretty. And then this one was a postcard where the uh, wife of the artist was selling them and then she was like taking us outside of the shop and showing us exactly where her husband was painting the the painting it was so cute like yeah and then I got some more freebies from the shop in Gyeongju uh, yeah they gave me like a free coloring book and these like little pamphlets uh, pamphlets after I bought uh, these stickers that are coming up zero per zero was the name of this store so 
They also designed those soul postcards I had in the beginning. And yeah, I did end up giving some postcards away. And but I also think postcards are a nice cheap souvenir that you can like use as an art print so you can put it on your walls. But yeah, I wanted to get these stickers uh, of Gyeongju and of Seoul so I can put it in my notebook. They're super cute and sparkly and I like their illustration style. And then this actually was a free sticker uh, sheet I got from the museum in Seoul. And then these are the Mr. Do Nothing stickers I got from a Mr. Do Nothing pop-up in the Coex Mall of Korea. You probably saw that in my August plan with me. So definitely putting these new stickers to use. They're just so cute too. I talked about them a lot in the last video, so you can go check that out. Next, these stickers are very used because I bought them also on that like first day I was in Korea and I didn't know that I was gonna be filming this. So I cracked them open right away and used them, but they're super cute. And then I also got this in Korea in a Daiso. There's like four sheets of the stickers in there, so I thought it was a pretty good deal. And I've been meaning to get these alphabet stickers because I think they look really cute as like titles in your journal. And then I also got these stickers in Gyeongju. This one is from Japan. I got these cute Pikachu stickers. I still need to use them, but yeah, I like the style that they drew Pikachu in. I also used up some of these stickers, but this one's like Mandu Boy. And then this one was... I forget where, it's, where it is, and I'm probably going to have to Google Translate all the little captions, but... Oh, I think I got that in, Di uh, in Japan. And this one, I forget where I got it from, but there are also these little sticker flakes of this... Uh, I think it's like a tempura, like, eating some snacks. More sticker flakes. These ones are really pretty, I thought. They're kind of like a watercolory illustration style. And then this is a postcard from Japan. So I got these from the museum in Osaka. I'm planning on putting them up on my wall. I really liked these paintings a lot. And then this was also from Japan in a bookstore in Ginza. I really liked the artist's style in here too. Oh, I got way too excited about this stationery organizer, but I got it in Taiwan and I just think it'll be perfect for all of my sticker sheets. So I think I was even more excited about organizing my stickers than about all the stickers that I got because honestly, I think I bought too much and I was a little overwhelmed. And then this little guy is from Jeju, a little keychain of the uh, stone grandpa uh, statues they have all around the island. And I also got a bunch of these socks for my friends. They're super cute too. Jeju had like the best merch, honestly. Like they knew their packaging and their designs well. Like look at this hand cream. Ah, so cute. And it smells so good. So I got a bunch of those for my friends too. I also got this little egg keychain for my friend in the stationery store called Butter. That was in Korea also, I think in the Coex Mall. And then I also got these enamel pins from the Lotte World Tower in Seoul. They're super pretty. And then I got this mug for free actually at an architecture Biennale uh, like presentation they had kind of. It was really cool and I like the ink watercolor style a lot and we actually met the architect who drew this so that was pretty cool and it was free. And I also got this mug from the Seoul Botanical Garden. The building was super cool so yeah I just like the design of the mug and I'm gonna give it to my mom because since she loves plants. And I also got this as a gift for my parents. It's like this handmade wooden um, I don't know what it's called, like, you kind of hang it from wherever and there's like a little bell. Next up is some skincare. They had a lot of these like one for one package deals, so usually I would buy a box and then I would keep one for myself and then give the other one away. But this sunscreen was really, really nice. Also tried this like green tea one in the store and they both like soak into the skin so well. I was really happy with that. And then it also came with this cleanser, which I didn't even know until I opened the box. 
but yeah, the sunscreen was really good. Apparently the green tea also helps cancel out the redness in your skin. I also got face masks, of course. Had a lot of face mask nights with my roommates. And this eye mask was free after I bought other things from Shangpri. But popping those into the fridge and then putting them on your face is just so soothing. And then I got this moisturizer, which I really like. Pretty water-based, I think, so it soaks into your skin really well. I have dry skin, so I'm always looking for a lightweight moisturizer. And this is like a water whatever. Like, I don't even know how to say that. And I don't even know if it works. It could just be totally just water, but it feels really good on the skin. I also got the niacinamide for helping even out your skin tone. And then I was also using this sunscreen, which was really moisturizing as well, and doesn't leave like a white cast, like it soaks in so well. I also got this moisturizer from Round Lab. I think I got a lot of my skincare from Olive Young. And then I also got this Senka facial cleanser. It like whips up so much. And then this is like my favorite thing. It's like a hyaluronic acid toner pad. I never had one that had this little like tong in it, but it's so fun. And it feels like you're kind of putting like radishes on your skin, which sounds weird, but I love radish, the curry and pickled radish. So it just like makes me laugh every time I use it, but it works really well and you can like leave them on for a bit so it really like soaks into your skin. Yeah, and it's like very cooling because I have like a pretty high skin temperature, I think. And then I also bought this Sky High mascara and this brown eyeliner. I've always been wanting to try some brown eyeliner out, so I'm happy that I got that. I also got this little tote bag in Korea. It was so fun, like this store had all these different patches out, so you choose a tote bag and then make your little design of the tote bag that you want. And I also got the keychain. But yeah, it's cool that you choose the placement and patches and then they just iron it on for you. I had like a whole different design plan, but it was funny. Then I saw like that uh, bunny wearing the orange bag and I was like, wait, that'll be literally me when I'm wearing it. So I thought it was kind of meta. And then that kind of became like a running joke throughout Korea. Oh, and then for more accessories, I got a lot of more socks. I don't know, when you wear an outfit with a cute sock, it just like makes me so happy. So I bought a lot more of those. Cause who wants a boring sock, you know? Like, have some fun in your life and wear your dog sock. <laughs> yeah, those ones were cute. I feel like they peek out of your shoes. Yeah, these are only a fraction of the socks I bought. And they're also good gifts for people too. And they were really cheap. And then also in Jeju, we visited this green tea farm. So I got this roasted green tea for my grandpa. Uh, I didn't actually try it, so I hope it's good. It looks good. And we also visited Yonsei. It was cute actually. The students that we met with gifted us that legal pad and uh, this pencil case, which I didn't include. But yeah, it was really nice of them. They didn't have to give us anything, but it was a cute surprise. And then I also went to Eric acorn caricature which was this place where you like sit and you pay like seven dollars and then they make a little cute caricature for you and then you get a postcard and like some stickers and when i first saw it i actually did not like <laughs> like it but i think it looks it looks okay it looks okay i thought it was gonna be cuter <laughs> but that's okay <laughs> it was a fun time this was the pamphlet from that architecture biennale thing we went to where I got that other free mug. Uh, yeah, and the design of the pamphlet was cool, so I wanted to keep it. <laughs> this is why I'm a hoarder. But yeah, that's the architect that we met with, which was pretty cool. He's like the director of the Seoul Biennale. And then this was from a pop-up at the Coex Mall. I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting this guy's name. Oh yeah, Doguri. Dogu, Doguri, I don't know. But I bought that sticker and I won these little magnets and they had all these like free stickers. So of course I took them all. And I also bought a sticker sheet as well cause I just think he's so cute, so chaotic. But yeah, all these little items were free from the pop-up and they had a bunch of little stations where you could use it. But I just ripped off the whole sheet so I can use it later. And then I bought these stickers, yeah. 
I went to two concerts in Korea and they gave out these little things for free that you hold up during the concert. So I wanted to keep those as wall decor too. And then this was from Taiwan. We went to like this pop-up store. We met with the artists here too, which was cool. And they were explaining like the story behind each of these prints. So I was sold. I really liked it. And they were like the friendliest, most energetic people too. So it was really fun. And then that poster was from Seoul. I just collect like these post free posters from museums because I think the their graphic design is cool, so I want to put it on my wall. But yeah, those last three were free. Or last four were free. Anything can be an art print if you just put it on your wall. And yeah, this was in Taiwan, also uh, at that craft fair. It's so nice going to craft fairs because you get to like meet the artists eye to eye. And I went crazy, I bought so much. But yeah, these are like five little sticker flakes from that one. I thought the designs were super unique and I liked the texture and gradient and color palette of this artist's work. So I bought five stickers from there. I was like at their stand for so long, like trying to choose my favorite five because there was like 20 to choose from. And then this was also from the same fair. I just got uh, two stickers from this artist and they're so cute, like a little burger with legs and then this like flying ice cream, like come on, I love it. And then for snacks in Taiwan, we also got this like scallion nougat uh, cracker thing, which was really yummy from Chata. And we also got pineapple cakes, of course. And I think this bakery is most known for their, I think they're called sun cakes. I'm not sure, they were like sold out when my friend went, but those are delicious. I also got these earrings I, <laughs> I forgot to show, but that was from the pop-up too. And yeah, that is everything I bought in the last like 12 weeks of my travels. It's a lot, I'm overwhelmed. But thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, let me know in the comments what your most recent purchase was, if it was something fun, or maybe what your favorite item of the haul was. This is one of my rare hauls on this channel. So I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.